Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Farm Town here in City Skylines 2 where we last episode built some new exportation options uh, in the uh, region which is hopefully really going to help us with exporting the goods, importing the goods and just generally spreading it all out because we had huge traffic jams over here. We still got a few little jams right now but they were absolutely uh, rammed on every single street leading to over here and we've kind of seemed to have fixed it now we also added in a fair few new amount of farms and grew the population ever so slightly to the point where we are looking to get a few more residents moving in now what I want to do today is build over here in this location a little bit of a riverside town when I say town I mean small village it's not going to be that big but I'm thinking, do we implement a little bit of a ferry stop so we can have a little boat sailing down the river to one of our little destinations of our harbours over here? I mean, it is a river town. It does sound pretty interesting. And if you guys did think this is interesting, kind of in English, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Farm town is growing, boys. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's more and more farms, and we've just got over... Wow, we've got half a billion dollars in the bank. That is a lot of cash. So, what are we going to do? Well, we're going to first see how we can make the road run uh, kind of alongside the river. So, if I make this technically go straight where that road bends in, I can use this to kind of, in many ways, follow the river. Now, we'll try our best to kind of get close. Not too close because I don't want to, you know, build, be building directly in it. And I'm not really too sure how far I take it either. So if I run a little bit straight there, I reckon we need a kind of a little bit of a uh, a straight uh, road coming out and in. Uh, and then I reckon we'll pick somewhere like this. So if I bring this out to there, and then we'll bend these babies together. So this is all pretty much being built in the moment right now. It's either going to be good or it's going to be a terrible little town. So there is um, the, the the basis <laughs> of this little river town. Not really much going on, and that road will probably continue to go around and connect up to somewhere where I don't know. There'll be a bunch of farms around here anyway. But this is what we may need kind of um, considering. We could even maybe make this bridge over, because obviously it'll be such it'll be dirt road. It'll be like almost like a wooden bridge style, and there won't really really that much vehicles using it. But I'm not too sure. Now, ha adding in a um, a kind of a, a harbour is quite a big task and a big job to kind of implement. So if I implemented it, like, for example, here, because you get... Oh, it actually connects to the existing line, which is kind of handy, if I build it here. It is an invalid shape. A road is required. So you can, you, you can almost win, but you can't win. Now, if I quickly pause, and if I delete this and this, can I get it in then? Or if I build you like that, and then the river running. I think the invalid shape was just purely down to the how the it's bending in. So if I bend you in there, we're all good. We are all good. So we have this beautiful little dirt road right now, which is technically connected, but it's not connected via all the road. Uh, <laughs> it's not perfect, is it? It's literally not perfect. There we go. We have a connection there into the... I mean, we've got the connection there anyway, but we've got double connections into the car park. Connections there for the car park as well. Any upgrades for the ferry? You could add an extra pier, which I think that's a little bit too much. But I can add in a transit terminal so we can also implement buses and taxis. I think that's what it pretty much does. And that's the main focal point to this whole town in, in, in its entirety. The fact that it is a river town and you can hop on and off of the boat. That's literally it. That is literally it. <laughs> so we kind of need to build then. A, a few roads to make a little grid, so to speak, and get some people moving in here. Now, as this is going to be the main focal point to the area, I reckon we at least run down to there and then bend you in to run to there. 
And this, I don't know whether to attach it to this or keep this as like its own little bypassing route. I don't think we should. I don't think we should kind of keep it away. Because all the roads are going to lead into wherever they want to lead into anyway. It doesn't really make any difference. It's going to be quite an awkward town in terms of road connections. They're almost not going to make much sense. Or it's going to feel like old schooly, where the roads weren't planned. They were just built upon around where buildings were built you know what i mean there was no not really any any structure into this or anything like that so i'm going to bring this down to there which i'm hoping there is a little bend here we can kind of take place on there we go so you get a nice little strip on the go there which will add another little connection so bringing you out we're going to bring you into there and see if we can bend this well actually not bend it just yet but bend this down to there there we go and then this we're going to bend in this way and run in that's going to go out and just run down this way so we could pretty much just have these run technically just straight in and there's not really any organization on the go. Which works out pretty well for us. That is a really, really old school kind of layout. This is like a town that was built with no planning whatsoever. So let's just sprawl the end of it now out. I mean, I'm going to sprawl the end of it out to kind of bring it to an end. So let me just kind of make these continue first. I mean, some areas we can kind of extend a little bit more. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons now. What's going on, boys? There. There. No. Wrong. That's not even the bulldoze button. And, uh, yeah, and then it will all then just fall into farming area. So... I, I reckon that's pretty nice. We're just going to do a little bit of terrain right now just to kind of bulk up the edges slightly. So if I do the... Is it shift terrain? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't even undo as well. I wanted to do the level terrain, didn't I? That's the... No. There we go. That's the button I was looking for, boys. That's the button I was looking for. So let's make it go a little bit longer. Smoother. Mainly from the top first. Uh, just so you can kind of make it semi look like it was part of it even though it doesn't look like it was anything a part of it right now and let me just smooth this out here there we go there we go so it is all dirt roads and we'll keep it all to dirt roads as well now it should have uh, electricity coming over here right it does it should have water it does so we're pretty much all good with the city services so before we do implement anybody actually living here, I'm going to get actual public transport in here first. So we're going to go to our shipping routes and passenger route. We'll select you and I do have the option to bring it to one or the other. I think I'm going to bring it just to this one. And then have that one there be the one that transfers back and forth. So we're not just taking away passengers from it. There we go. And just to make sure that we don't throw too many ships on this now brand new line, it wants to put only one on there, so that's perfect. And if I'm not mistaken, they do come from outside of the region. You don't have to build a depot down, weirdly. Uh, but that's now going to work. We'll now implement a bus line. So we'll get a bus line that goes from this bus station, which we're running out of stops until we have to start sharing stops. And let me just do a point to point first, and then we'll kind of decide in the middle. So to there, and we'll make it end up over at this bus stop. There we are, there we are, just there. Make it go back. We'll use the other side, the different one, so you can kind of see them stacking up differently. To there. So I haven't done anything there. I haven't added any additional bus stops, you know, pretty much moving around on the way to and from. It's just a point to point. Um, we'll kind of implement those now as an addition. So 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we'll go for the normal bus stops, and I reckon we implement one either side here. So we'll go for one there, one there. I have to come back and actually implement them. We'll do one there, one there. So we're coming into there, we're going to shoot back out. We'll get them to hit up a bus stop here and here, both sides. We'll do one just here and here. There we go. So, we're not going to get it to go through the industrial area. It's not that type, uh, type of bus line. And we'll do one there and there. And then that will pretty much just lead in. It's not anything other than... Oh, we're going to have to get right in. Other than a point-to-point -point route. Right, they're in there. This is actually going to be quite annoying. I'm now just realising it. You gotta zoom right in because of how tight these little areas are. Right. You, oh, I just realised there's two bus routes on this, so we could we could technically crisscross. But I don't quite know how you're gonna get that crisscross. We might have to pull it back from over here. Did that work? Or is it this one that's not on it? Ah, it's that one that's not on it. The one I actually wanted on it is not on it. Right, they're now both on. They share a bus stop. So you're obviously going to go into there. You are going to go over here. Even get right into it. There we go. Don't mind that. And then there's just two more here we're just going to kind of quickly sort out. So it's not perfect. It's not It's not efficient. It's just a simple point to point. It's to, it's to trick them into thinking that they are connected to the greater network. Which they are connected to it. But there's better alternatives and, better and more efficient routes they can get to once they get from this route to their destination. If that made any sense whatsoever. Yes. Right. Okay, okay, okay. We've got buses. We have got uh, the shipping route. We probably then need... When's the last time we built a taxi depot? This is a taxi depot. I can't remember the last time we built one. I feel like we kind of need more. Oh, just leveled up, by the way, boys. Um, they hold 20. I can do a garage extension, which is a pretty small building. We can do a, a dispatch call center. I don't really want electric taxis. So I can do a small one there. I can do a small one. I can do two there as well. So that has the ability now to have 35 taxis pumping out. I feel like we need to do a few of those. So that will kind of help us out with the taxis getting over to this area. And uh, I think we we're officially ready then to, to build this area. So, oh, do we use the waterfront housing from the new beach DLC, boys? Yes, I think we do. Now, this will be, I've never seen this, and this is just a coincidence that I'm doing this when this DLC came out. It's a complete coincidence. This is for waterfront housing. I'll be the judge of how waterfront these housings are. Uh, while we have that to build, we'll get some commercial in. So place down a bunch of commercial. Nice big shopping district area there. Because it's a big uh, transport hub, this is. So it will make a lot of sense. It's actually got six passengers on board. Wow. Wow. I suppose they want to hop on a bus to kind of maybe travel over to uh, Cattlemore. It's probably what they want to do. And we'll then go for some medium density housing just here. But then mainly then fill it all up with the low density residential. There we go. Going crazy, going crazy, boys. 
We'll do it against that road as well. And on this side. It's not a highway road, so we don't need to worry about that. It's just part of a l little mini town is what it is. I might get a little bit more commercial over here if I scrap you as an idea and then place you down instead. Get some commercial in just there. Right, apparently this is our beachfront property. Looks no different. I've been scammed. <laughs> I'm now choking. I'm now choking on my own words. Um, I actually don't know what you get in this beach for DLC thing, whatever it is. Beach pro was it called the beach properties? I think it was. There's no communication stuff. There's, by the looks of it, no new parks or tour. Oh no, there is new. To no wait, no, it's just a new icon. Water park was that always there? Uh, nothing to do with. Uh, I know they changed some of the icons. The icons look a little bit different. Uh, police headquarters has. Is that changed? Or is that the same? Uh, I gotta add some of this stuff in for this little town anyway. None of this stuff has pretty much changed anyway. Oh, snap. No. Sorry, I, I got confused. And I thought they changed the elementary school um, capacity. And no, that was a lie. That was a lie. So what have they even added in? That's what I... Hold up, boys. I need to know what they've added in in this beachfront property thing. Because I can't quite figure out what is new. It says there's 10 new residential buildings, free, uh, 10 new European signature build. Oh, new, wait. Really? I've just paid £10. I paid £10 because I was going to check it out at the end of this episode. I paid a tenner, baby, for 10 European and 10 American houses. Which, by the looks of it, I've got only one variation. Um, really? Okay. I'm so confused. Uh, new signature buildings. Fair enough. You can see them now. There's the real estate agent mansion. There's the architect's mansion. There is the industrial mogul's mansion. Then there is... Huh? It said there was... Wait, did it say there was six? It said there was six signature buildings. I only see three. Well, that's a scam. And then the other one was there's four new trees. Oh, palm trees. Okay, they're pretty nice. I will give it that. I will give it that. Was it worth a tenner, though? <laughs> I'll let you guys decide in the comment section down below. Someone feels ripped off. Right, more houses. There we go. So, we're going to need a name for this new little town. I'm not too sure what to call it. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. Definitely a unique design for a town right now. It's more of a little village, isn't it? Like a little riverside village. Little riverside village right there. Looks really nice, which will then sprawl into more farming area. So, I reckon we should... I mean, how many people live here right now? 647. Do we give them their own elementary school? I think that might be somewhat of a good idea. If I built a school just there, we'll extend the, the dirt road a little bit further down and get some more residential stuff around it. Um, I might as well go for full capacity. Just solely because you never know. You never know. Um, we'll add in a small little medical clinic, which will get just... I say small. This is It's still actually quite large, isn't it, these buildings? Which I'll get just there. Um, that's medical. We'll get a small fire and rescue in this little town. So we'll go just there with it. And then, I say small police station, but the police station is absolutely huge. We'll hold out for the police station. The police can come from a different area. 
It will do us. That should do us. That should do us. Right, I'm actually quite impressed with it right now. It's a simple and small town. But it does look pretty good. I'm just very disappointed with these beachfront properties. They look like regular houses. They honestly look like a regular house. Maybe I've just done something wrong. Maybe you've got to put them on a beach. I don't know. But it just doesn't feel right, does it? Right, this ship's coming in right now with 19 people on board. So, yeah, this shipping line kind of works for some people. Which is pretty cool to see. Uh, what are the deficits right now in our farming products? There's still lots of deficits. We are still see. Oh, we got a surplus on beverages. Interesting. But, um, yeah, we'll try and extend some of the farming. And see what we can get, kind of get out of this. So if I brought this on a snap going down this going out and you going up we should be able to squeeze two farms in there we'll go for this one here And then we'll run this into there. Get a little bend just there. Should we get a couple of farms there? Is what we should be able to do. And we're going to run this. Ooh, it doesn't like that, does it? I think because that little bit is sticking out. Right, run that to there, boys. And again, we've got to remember, not all the farming road needs to connect perfectly. So that works very well. Very well. There could be some roads that we do delete, all determining on the radius in which we can kind of collect the stuff. Like, we could do a whole radius there of one farm. Almost. This is crazy how this one farm here could just fill up this whole little gap. That is really ridiculous. When you think about it. Well, let me see how this looks. Yeah, I like it. I like it touching the edge of the back of the houses. I do like that. I do like it. Uh, right, I'm going to delete this road. Because I feel like we should be able... Let me just get the angle just right. I say we should be able to, then now I've gone and deleted it and I can't. No, that works there. So this angle I've now got means I can get a whole farm in in this area that's glorious I might get a few more in. I'm doing all cotton here as well because we've got a little bit of a textiles deficit and to be honest with you I can't remember the last time I implemented cotton farms so this is pretty good. We're going to kind of fill all this area now up real quick. So I'm just going to rummage through this as quick as I can. Up into the corner, right down. The Gucci boys do this little area here, so a small little farm in there. Sometimes you think like small farms, you can get them done really quickly, but that's not the case. Still takes a little bit of time. Um, throw you in. It's like a little bit of a mini cotton region, isn't it, boys? Alright, straight down. Bam, bam, bam. We're going to finish up these last two. 
And that is going to be a huge boost for the cotton industry in our region. An absolute huge boost for these boys. Wow, the one, the last one messes up. The last one messes up for us. So damn foolish. So damn foolish. I can hear my cat meowing in the background. Right, there we go, there we go. So, that's now all implemented. Beautiful amount of farming. Wow, that is really... That is such a huge farming area right now, isn't it? That is such a huge farming area. And once you get it all up here as well, it's going to look so good. But in terms of the production right now for cotton, it's had a dramatic upturn. It's now the second highest surplus right behind... Uh, oh, no, it's going to overtake. It almost overtook livestock right there. And there we go, we did. It's now the highest producing material good that we have as a surplus. Not the highest producing in general because we do nearly 5,000 tons of grain. But the highest surplus we've now got. And overly it does sprinkle down onto kind of getting rid of the huge deficit of textiles. But we also need a high um, surplus of livestock as well to kind of utilize that. But you need more factories. No matter what you do, you, you're going to need more factories. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, that ship is coming back in again. We always catch it as it's about to kind of arrive. Another 19 passengers on board. I think I would like to live in this town. It's just out of the way of the big towns. Close enough to get your, like, necessities. Uh, but it's just out of the way, near some rivers, mountains. It, I feel like this is a nicer place to live. I really do. I really do. Now, we'll plant down some trees. Oh, no, the signature buildings have... Oh, no, but I say, the signature buildings have that little uh, scroll section. It doesn't. Um, right, where's the oak? Oak, oak, oak. Plant down some beautiful oak. And rummage it round and down here. Squeeze in some glorious oak trees. And that will look absolutely fantastic. It looks like it's just hanging on to the edge. It looks like it's hanging on to the edge of our little area. But once we've all fully filled it in, it would look pretty good. But um, I don't know what to say about these beachfront properties. Are they beachfront properties? Personally, no. I don't know whether... I've terraformed them wrong. But that... That was not worth 10 quid. Boys! <laughs> On that awful note, we're going to end it here. I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button down below. Give me a name suggestion in the comment section uh, of this brand new town. And until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good. Bye.